Hi, my name is Lisa. I'm a solutions engineer at Fricata, and this tutorial will cover how to set up proactive notifications. The first thing I need to do before I set up notifications is make sure that my email and phone number have been verified. To check this, I'm going to click on my organization name in the bottom left corner and click on account settings. My email and phone number have been entered and verified, but if yours have not, be sure to add them and confirm those pieces of information before continuing. Now I am ready to set up alerts and command. To do this, I'm going to navigate to the alerts tab, which is denoted by the bell icon in the bottom left corner. The alerts tab is where you can go to find a collection of all of the events that have been picked up across all of your Vercada devices, including cameras, access control, and environmental sensors. In the motion events video, I walked through how to turn on motion events on a per camera basis. This tab is where I can subscribe to those events and get notifications for them. I can easily search through all of the events by using the search bar at the top. I suggest starting with device type, then event type, and then finally site to help quickly narrow your search. If I wanted to quickly make an alert based on these parameters, I can simply select the bell icon on the right of the search bar and create a motion alert for all cameras in my Floor 1 site. I can do the same thing by clicking the new alert button on the left side of the page. I have a few other options for what alerts I can receive for cameras. Camera status notifies me when a camera goes offline and when it comes back online. Crowd events can be enabled on a per camera basis to alert me of a crowd of two to 10 people, depending on the camera's set threshold. Motion, which we discussed in the motion events video, detects motion within a camera's field of view. For any profile that I've made into a person of interest, I can subscribe to those notifications for those people here. This way, whenever any of the cameras in my organization pick up that person, I will be notified. Lastly, Tamper notifies me whenever someone is tampering with the camera, either by trying to remove it from the wall or by trying to break it. I'm going to stick with just motion events for now. I've now selected an event type and the cameras that will be notifying me. I'm going to hit next to select who the recipients of this alert will be. I can select email, SMS, or both types of alerts. Because I'm an org admin, I can also add other users to receive alerts. If you have any other permission level, you will only be able to do this for yourself. Next, I can choose the schedule in which I want to get alerted. Because I expect motion in our building throughout the day, I'm going to set up a nighttime only schedule with 24 seven notifications on the weekends. Lastly, I'm going to give my alert a name like first floor motion, and I can optionally add a description which can be helpful if I'm subscribing someone else to an alert. I will name this one Motion Detected During Non-Business Hours. Now I can click on an event to view a short clip of the event, along with some information associated with it. I can hit the Share Link button in the top right corner to send out the clip of this event to anyone. I can also select the name of the camera listed underneath the footage to view the live feed of the camera. Lastly, if you need to make changes to an alert, simply mouse over the name of your alert and click the three dots that appear on the right. This will give you the option to edit the alert, if you are the one who created it, and mute it temporarily or permanently. And that is how to set up proactive notifications for Vercada devices. As always, don't forget to visit help.vercada.com to view our many knowledge base articles and know that our 24-7 support team is always available for further help and questions.